We've all heard talks about how we need to become early risers to improve our productivity. Yes, we all want to, or at least hope to become an early riser someday, but we haven't been able to bring ourselves to that point. We've heard or read about successful people's daily habits, and we know that several of them start their day from as early as 4.30 a.m. or 5 a.m. thereabout. It's interesting to hear them talk about some of the activities that they do during that period. As a result, we begin to imagine that time of how lives when we become successful and have to wake up early would be, forgetting that it's the habits that we build now that determines whether or not we will be successful. Anyway, the point is, we know that it is essential to build the habit of waking up early, but accomplishing it hasn't mainly been an easy task. Perhaps we need to know the benefits of being an early riser to help us build the habit. In this video, I'll share with you 5 habits of waking up before 5 a.m. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. You'll have more time to connect with yourself. You know that situation where you rush out of bed to get ready for work hurriedly because you woke up late and then the whole day becomes a little disorganized because you have to rush through almost everything. Well, that's what happens when you don't build the habit of waking up early. On the other hand, when you do, you'll have enough time to connect with yourself, think about the opportunities available to you, and use them best. You have some space to reflect on the kind of person you are and growing to become. You also need to reconnect with your purpose from time to time so that you don't live your life carelessly as someone without direction. Connecting with yourself and purpose allows you to look forward to each day because you've got goals to accomplish. However, if you keep waking up late every day and storming out of the house in a beat to catch up with your daily work activities, you might lose sight of your goals sooner than you imagine. Jean Shinoda Bolin, a psychiatrist and Jungian analyst, advises, when you recover or discover something that nourishes your soul and brings joy, care enough about yourself to make room for it in your life. 2. You can plan and organize your day properly. Most people wake up between 6 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. daily. So, waking up at 5 a.m. means that you get to start your day before the rest of the world. The only concern, however, is what you intend to do with those extra hours. Here it is. With a two-hour head start on the rest of the country, you decide what's important to you, including what should be in your day's schedule and what shouldn't. You also get to figure out what your priority and most important task for the day is and isn't. When you know this, you can plan and organize a beautiful and less stressful day for yourself. You don't want to go through the process of figuring things out on the go. While well, you could have done that earlier, when you have an organized day, it will improve every area of your life because you will be calm enough to reflect on those areas and make wise moves or decisions. You will also invest more time doing meaningful things. According to early risers, waking up early increases productivity because they have more time to organize their day. They have more time to also focus on important tasks while the rest of the world is asleep with little or no distraction. They can prioritize all their activities more effectively than when they rush out of bed and straight to work. 3. You'll have more time for personal development. Personal development is something every one of us understands. We know the importance of developing ourselves, reading books, listening to podcasts, etc. However, time is one factor most people use as an excuse not to do these things. Mary Curie said, Life is not easy for any of us, but what of that? We must have perseverance and above all, confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained at whatever cost. If you genuinely want to develop yourself, then an excellent way to go about it will be to create time for it. A famous Eric Thomas quote is that when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. Waking up as early as 5 a.m. daily will create the time you need to develop yourself or at least plan and schedule your day so that you can create the time to improve yourself. This lifestyle will make you proactive and you can learn anything that you want to as long as you are intentional about it. Think about some of the world's most successful men and women. One thing that is peculiar to most of them is that they are mostly early risers. If you are wondering what they spend their time doing, well, they develop themselves most of the time. Have you ever wondered why successful people with no university degree still end up becoming so successful? How did they achieve that? The answer is that they develop themselves. Do you know how they accomplish that amidst their busy schedules? Again, they are early risers. Take a clue from notable early risers such as Richard Branson, Ariana Huffington, Mark Zuckerberg, etc. They don't joke with their personal development, neither do they joke with their mornings. 4. It will help you build discipline for everything else. Building discipline is like building muscles. 
the more you train, the stronger your muscles become. If you are like most people, snoozing your alarm clock or dismissing it entirely is something you're probably used to by now, because your bed feels so warm that you just want to spend a few more minutes in it, and then you end up oversleeping. The point where you finally overcome the urge to dismiss your alarm and get out of bed immediately is a winning time for you. However, it'll take more than one trial to say that you have successfully built a habit of waking up early. Say you eventually get yourself to wake up by 5 a.m. every day for one month. Then you'd have mastered how to build self-discipline, which you can apply in other areas of your life. 5. Gives you more time to pay attention to your health. Breakfast, they say, is the most important meal of the day. However, imagine waking up late that you have to prepare for work hurriedly. Well, I'm pretty sure your best breakfast option will be to grab anything that comes to sight instead of intentionally looking out for healthy recipes. When you wake up at 5 a.m., not only will you plan your breakfast appropriately, but you'll also have more time to exercise and stay fit. When you exercise in the morning, you're less likely to have an excuse. Plus, you'll find that your morning workout will keep you energized all day long. So, you see, waking up early will give you time to focus not only on work, but also on your health. So, how do you learn to wake up early? 1. Start small. Say you used to wake up at 7 a.m. daily. Start by waking up 15 minutes earlier for an entire week or more. When you notice the progress you've made, you can change the time setting once again, increase it by another 15 minutes for another week. Keep doing this until you get used to waking up at 5 a.m. eventually. 2. Go to bed early. Remember the old saying, early to bed, early to rise. Well, this is a valid point here. If you don't get enough hours of sleep, how will you learn to wake up as early as 5 a.m.? On the other hand, when you sleep well, you won't feel sleep deprived when the alarm goes up. 3. Step out of the bedroom. One trick to shaking up sleep when your alarm comes on is to step out of your bedroom, whether you take the trip to the bathroom or to go make a coffee. It doesn't matter, just make a move. 4. Have a good reason. If you're waking up to nothing, why should you want to wake up by 5 a.m.? Your plan might be to read a book, plan a day, exercise, prep talk, etc. As long as your reason is good enough, you'll be inspired to wake up at 5 a.m. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.